What's going on guys? I hope you're having a wonderful day. Now, in this video, we're going to be looking at my grandfather's old Mercury 7.5 horse engine. So unfortunately, I did a bunch of filming on this yesterday and I actually got it running. Um, but that footage got deleted, so basically what I did was I changed the spark plugs, um, I replaced a couple of uh, clip wires and did some soldering in the ignition coils because they're so old. Um, and then I cleaned the, the I cleaned the carburetor because a couple of the jets were clogged and it fired right up. It still doesn't run good, but that'll be in my next video. But in this video, what I'm gonna be focusing on is um. Uh, I can't take the cowling off right now because this thing is broken, but underneath the there, there's a ton of corroded wires that are all broken, and I'm going to be replacing them. And if you're wondering why the lower unit is not on, it's because I it wasn't pumping water, and I needed to replace the impeller. And let's see, copper pipe in this one. I never knew that, but look at this impeller. I don't know if you can see that. That is like not good so i got another one in the mail and let's hope it gets here soon because i want to test this thing out but yeah anyways this is a old mercury 7.5 it was my grandfather's and i the story behind it is i think i think it's a 1976 don't quote me on that because i'm not sure but last I checked, I think it was in 1976. And this thing's been underwater tons of times because it was on this like, like not very structurally sound old John boat. Um, and it's been in salt water, been, it's been in fresh water. It's sat for like 10 or 20 years at a time before. And let's just, uh, get right to it all right so brought the engine down into the basement got the cowling off and now you can see the insides pretty sweet um and it's got this weird joint for the tiller i don't know what's up with that but and if you look at these wires in here look at that that's i i there were some up there i already replaced them but i touched it and it was like this and it snapped. So definitely gonna replace the wires for the kill switch. All of these wires I'm gonna replace because like they're really weak. pull starter off of the engine I completely like stripped down the top because the screws were hidden for these wires but just look at how terrible that is. watch this buddy it like oh that's nasty so I'm gonna fix this thing up let's see what I can do This thing repaired unfortunately the original wires were like sealed in there so I had to strip them I put shrink tube over them and then I used these connectors that are like crimp things to connect to these this nice uh, 12 gauge wire and I put the li these little crimp on loop things on the end and now all I gotta do is install it on the engine so let's hope it works
All right, so we got that uh, all fitted in there. It's running up. It's working pretty good, it looks like. So um, I'm gonna have to wait to start it up for that impeller because I'm not starting this thing dry. I don't wanna ruin it. These parts are fairly hard to come by because it is a really old engine. And yeah, the telltale thing down here, um, right there, that was like really clogged with like, because the impeller, you saw how it was totally destroyed. It was filled with pieces of the impeller and I could not get them out. Um, even like hammering a drill bit through there, it wasn't even coming out. So I don't know what was up with that. So I just made my own thing here for now. So there's just a pipe coming out of the back. So hopefully later on I can get that unclogged, but for now, this is gonna work fine. Um, I also noticed that the, the choke lever is broken off right here, which is really annoying. Um, as well as a while ago, the shifter lever broke off and I did this weird janky thing, but it like cuts you every time you try to use it. So um, I'm gonna replace that. So let's do it. All right, so this shift, this engine is getting more janky by the minute, but instead of a shifter lever, I used a Traxxas Bandit front tire. It works surprisingly, surprisingly well though, and it's pretty solid. So I'm just gonna stick with it, because I kind of like it being a circle, I'm not gonna lie. Now, all that's left is to fix this choke lever thing down here. It's broken off. I don't, I don't know, I don't want to, but I think I might have to take the carburetor off, but we'll see. I'll uh, get you back on when something interesting happens. All right, so I had a cool idea. Um, I drilled through the little like bar thing that was in there, and then I put a piece of metal through it, and then I used a wrench as like a little thing, and I poured hot glue in the wrench, like a mold. And now it's a working choke thing, you see? It's opening the little butterfly. It works great, so um yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it for this video. Anyways, um I'm gonna make a part two once that impeller comes in where I'll install the impeller, get the lower unit back on, get all that working again, and then um I'll have a part three where I'll water test it, I think, at my lake house on Sebago Lake in Maine. One of the best lakes ever. Any, anyway, with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.